Welcome back for another video. We're going to talk about where the club face should be in the takeaway and the top of the backswing to give yourselves the best chance at success in making a good downswing, okay? So in a lot of cases, in the big picture, we want the downswing to be an athletic reaction to the backswing, okay? How we eventually do that, you may have to be very robotic, you may have to manufacture a lot of movements in the learning process, but in the big picture, we want the downswing to be a reaction to the backswing. So um, for a lot of amateur golfers who struggle with being steep, who struggle with being outside in, who struggle with slices, they tend to have the club face too open in the backswing, okay? So uh, a lot of people, I've seen a lot of first time clients, they show up, they think that at shaft parallel, the toe of the club should be at 12 o'clock regardless for a righty or lefty, okay? They want the toe of the club to be at 12 o'clock kind of like this. And you can see to get there, you have to, for most cases, roll your forearms to get that club head going 12 o'clock. And as they continue doing that, it keeps going. And at the top of the backswing, the, the club face is pointing in front of me, okay? That's very open. We don't want to be open because the more open I am, the more outside in I'm gonna have to probably be to square the club face up unless I do something with my hands to turn it over. But that's not, a, that's not a very predictable manner in how we deliver the club into the ball, okay? So we don't want that. On the opposite end, if I make the club face close, let's just say toe of the club at nine o'clock for a righty, three o'clock for a lefty. If I keep it the most closed, you can see the club face is actually pointing behind me now. Open club face points in front of me at the top of the backswing, closed club face points more behind me at the top of the backswing, okay? If it's closed and I come the same way I do with an open face, I'm gonna be super close face, I'm gonna pull it way left. So I'm probably not gonna do that. My body will probably react in a way that makes the club come from more behind to twist the face open. You can see the shaft had to shallow up big time, which a lot of players, we could benefit from um, doing that, to get the club to be more square. So that's one spectrum of it, one side of the spectrum, okay? So, um, and so for most cases, we want this face for most players to be square, at shaft parallel and at the top of the backswing to close, okay? Most amateur golfers can benefit much more from a square to close club face rather than an open club face, okay? Again, it's not 100%. I'm not saying everyone should be square to close, but most amateur golfers can benefit from being square to close, okay? So let's define square as if you don't rotate your forearms, assuming the club face is square at setup, if you don't rotate your forearms, the toe of the club should be at 1030-ish for a righty and then 130-ish for a lefty, okay? So as for me as a righty, from my perspective, the, club, the toe of the club is at 1030, okay? If all I do is maintain that and turn to the top, the club face should point somewhere upwards, okay? Upwards because close is behind me, open is in front of me. Somewhere upwards would be pretty square, okay? So if I can do a square club face on my backswing, square club face at the top, which usually means your wrist structure is in a pretty good spot, lead wrist flat, trail wrist bent, if all I do is do that, then I'm in a great spot to just react and turn in the downswing, and the face will probably be pretty square because I won't have to try to shallow the club or come ex excessively from the inside to open the face back up to square. Or on the flip side, I don't have to rotate a ton to get the club face back to square, okay? It's a, it's a very neutral spot where we don't have to be too exaggerated on both sides of the spectrum. So again, as a general guideline to, to, to live on square to close, we want to be roughly 1030 at shaft parallel with the toe for a righty or, or 130 for a lefty. And then at the top of the backswing, the face is roughly pointing at the top-ish not back behind me, not in front. So I really exaggerate, so let's say I go very slowly to show you guys this. This is how it should look, okay? No, keep the club face square, 1030 to the ceiling, and then I make my swing, and you can see I hit a little right to left shot because I know I'm, I'm slightly inside out. If the face is pretty much square, I'm gonna hit the ball slightly right before it draws back all good to me, okay? And usually for people who uh, slice the ball, for most, um, for most amateur golfers who struggle with slicing and being over the top, that's a great ball flight to see and work towards, okay? So again, square club face is a great place to be, 1030 or 130, depending on whether you're righty or lefty, a shaft parallel, face points somewhere towards the top, not behind, not severely in front, so that your lead wrist is flat, your trail wrist is bent, and then you can just turn and react from there. 
that's what we want to try to do, guys. So hope that makes sense. Any questions, leave in the comments below, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.